Yeah. Hi, welcome um, to my pres presentation. Um, we're going to, last year we uh, released CrowdSim 3D. Uh, together with uh, Monique and I, we built it. And I do have to do a disclaimer up front. Uh, there's a lot of developer's art inside this presentation. So I'm sorry for that. Um, last year, we, uh, we released uh, the CrowdSim uh, simulation uh, add-on for Blender. And our mission is to get a high quality uh, crowd simulation inside the Blender uh, do domain. And yeah, that 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 is really a fun project. And par, uh, past year we uh, did a lot of improvement on the system, and uh, most of that it was based on performance. We currently can do ten thousands of uh, agents uh, on uh, in Blender. Uh, all those agents they have their own armature, so there's quite a uh, com 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 complex scene to look at. 40,000 objects on the on the screen here. And the next projects where uh, we've done this year, and that's what the to this talk is uh, is about. It's about traffic. And yeah, <laughs> uh, we haven't finalized uh, the traffic pro project yet. We're still working on it. We hope to release it in two weeks. But today we want to show you from okay. How does it work and what can you do with it? What's the power behind the system? It all starts with the traffic system. And what's a traffic system? Um, with a lot of uh, physics simulations, you have a domain ob uh, object. And a traffic system is similar to what a domain object is for, uh, for a traffic system, for a traffic simulation. It contains the roads. It contains the junction, the traffic, the traffic rules, and yeah. And we designed an, a, a way how to create an, a non-destructive workflow to get uh, to get ev everything uh, working. We start with some Bezier curves, and uh, we can just select them and uh, just say from add traffic system. And based on that, it will create a map containing the, the curves as a, a road map. Uh, where the, connect, uh, the, the endpoints of the, uh, of the curves align, connectors will uh, be created. And those connectors will then uh, can, can become crossings or junctions or just connectors between road segments. A traffic. Uh, system uh, can then be configured uh, more. We have in the world we have two major traffic systems. One one of that is called the left-handed traffic system, and the other one is called the right-handed traffic system. Due to in case um, per per road, the the category of the traffic that can uh, uh, drive on the, on that uh, uh, tr uh, road can be configured. So you, you can create lanes or roads for pedestrians, for public transport, for cars. And based on the type of, of, of uh, traffic, uh, different rules will apply. Like the cars will always give priority to the public transport. You can also add more lanes uh, to, to a road or create a single uh, one-way road. Besides of roads, also uh, besides roads and lanes, uh, crossings and junctions can be con configured. Uh, traffic rules uh, for traffic lights: Is it allowed to do a U-turn, or which lanes can, uh, or which decisions can an agent uh, take when it's driving in on the lane? By the default, the system creates some rules. And you have the option, of course, to change those. Like, like here, the, uh, you can only turn right on the most uh, right lane you're driving on. But we also have traffic lights. 
and the traffic lights, by, by default, no uh, traffic lights are added to the system. You can uh, select the connector and uh, turn on the traffic lights. We have two, uh, two ways how to set up the traffic lights. One, uh, one of them is the automatic system, where you ju uh, just say from, okay, this amount of green lights do I have, this, and this amount of red, uh, red lights do, do I have, and this is the time to clear the junction. And based on that, it will generate a, a system for you. But like, like here, you can really go into a more complex system where uh, you can manually uh, an, an animate, keyframe uh, the lights you, you have. And based on this, uh, these um, yeah, objects, you can cr uh, quite get into some complex uh, situations. Like these kind of s s systems can be created as a roundabout with a cycle uh, roads, with the traffic roads, or the other one is a traffic uh, uh, crossing inside Amsterdam near the central station. It's <coughs> now we have uh, the traffic system, we need to add some cars on it. Uh, we call that to populate the scene. And how we do it is from we uh, have a node-based uh, system where you can set uh, several, uh, you, you can load your, your, your models in, like, uh, like here there, there are ten uh, different cars. And for every car you, you can randomize uh, uh, some materials or, or material settings, textures, uh, but also some behavior settings like uh, how much uh, uh, distance do, do, do I normally keep to the car in front of me? Uh, the, what's my desired velocity? A, a sports car drives faster than a small car, hopefully. And um, when, uh, when we populate the scene, every agent in the scene will get a random value that's been configured here. Uh, but that's quite a destructive workflow because the, the, uh, the next time you do it, it gets different uh, uh, settings. Uh, and per perhaps the director just wants that this specific agent will always be the red car. And we, we have an option to then select the agent and just say from, okay, this agent needs to be this uh, type of car and uh, we can lock it so the next time it won't be uh, changed. And okay, so we now have a scene. We have the, uh, the, the traffic inside it, but now we need to animate it, have something uh, uh, to bring the simulation to life. And thanks for the formula. Uh, where uh, there's an industry standard for, for that, and that's the, in, uh, the intelligent driver model. And it's being used by, uh, by governments, road planners, uh, uh, queue uh, and, uh, and, and analyzers. It's, it's quite, uh, 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 it's the only algorithm available. And that's uh, uh, quite interesting because it is also a bit limited. And the, lim the limitation is that uh, the input of that uh, algorithm is what's the distance to my uh, car in front and what's my relative uh, speed difference with my car in front. And the output is only you need to brake or you, need to, uh, you, you can increase your velocity. Yeah, that's fine if you are uh, uh, having a linear system or a s uh, one dimensional system, but we are working in 3D. So how do we solve that? Like uh, in this situation, uh, the, 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 the white car, which, which car is in front of the white car? Is that the blue one or is that the red one? You can't know, you, you, you don't know because it can be the red one or it can be the blue one. It all depends on the traffic uh, rules that apply at, 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 at that moment. 
eventually, uh, we, we feed that data into the, uh, uh, the simulation and a traffic uh, uh, simulation, and, and the movement will appear. And, um, but note that the animation of the car is not really detailed. The wheels are not moving, the wheels are not turning. Uh, we can do better than that. Um, every car, the base model of, the, of, of, of that car, has, has, has a rig, and that rig that's, uh, that's, uh, that, that can be mod modified for every car you, you have. If you have an 18-wheeler, uh, an it has a totally different uh, rig than uh, a, a simple car like, like this. And the rig, it, it's, it's a constraint-based uh, rig. Uh, use it uh, for turning the wheels and... Uh, and, dry, and making a drive anim animation. We add uh, several uh, actions, animations, actions to, uh, to, to it, or one for standing still. We can add uh, uh, an, an animation for, for uh, driving straight at 10 miles per hour, or turning left at 15 miles uh, per, 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 per hour. And in the panel we, we deliver, you mention that, uh, that speed. And, you, and using that uh, data, the uh, traffic simulation will then generate the animation of the wheels that's needed. So uh, it, it, it will select uh, several uh, ac uh, and, and animation actions that, that are near the current velocity of the, of the, uh, of, of the car and then uh, starts merging it. And the, the, the same thing can also be done by uh, more complex uh, uh, arm, arm, arm armatures like pedestrians. We have, we have a lot of actions and based, ba based on the actual speed and the actual uh, uh, velocity of the, of, the, of the agent, the animation uh, is merged together. The merging will then be placed inside the NLA. And still in the NLA, you can still tweak the uh, things what, 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 uh, what you want. You can add modifiers to it or add a corrective uh, layer on top of it. But then the thing happens from you have thousands of cars in your city driving and something happens and you want to see why. So we added a, a debugging uh, of, uh, option into the uh, uh, crowd simulation. This is also available for the normal crowd uh, simulation and for the traffic module, where for the, uh, the active uh, uh, car agent that, that you have selected, you will see from, okay, what decision d did it take? But sometimes, a Decision in this is, is just too high level. So we also added a debug node. And in the debug node, you see the detailed uh, data from, okay, th this is the data it used to, uh, 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 this is the data that has been uh, used to make the, that the agent made the decision. Uh, like here, it's, it's decelerating because there's a car in front. That's a traffic system action. This is an overview of what the system can do. Uh, get your copy. Your copy uh, you can get uh, here uh, very soon. We hope in with, with, within two weeks. We're doing some final testing on all the platforms to make sure that it uh, works co co correctly. Um, and we also uh, uh, have a version available with only the traffic simulation. So if you're not, uh, uh, you don't need the crowd, uh, and crowd and full crowd simulation, you can also get a traffic only uh, simulation. We have demo versions available, and we have a newsletter uh, letter where we will announce when the when the disc release. But we will also post it on Blender Nation. And after that, we have some, uh, some ideas we want to work on. 
uh, and for the traffic system, uh, it's more to have more art art artistic controls about the, uh, the, the decisions that the agent makes. Uh, we, we also want to add an option where you can select uh, the, the traffic system and then generate a base match mesh so you can model uh, further from it. Uh, curr currently, all the connectors are, uh, have, have a circular form and we want to support multiple uh, forms because sometimes that form can, uh, uh, does not match the place you are modeling. And, of course, we need to create a lot of tutorials. I would like to thank everyone for the, for the past last year for their support. Uh, we also got a lot of feedback and uh, advice from companies uh, who really want to use uh, crowd simulations in their, their productions. What, uh, what were they uh, looking for? And I would like to thank you all and the community for uh, their support. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.